This will be in reference to, say, evaporator or condenser approach. And I think the whole premise of the question is, if we're calculating approach based off of our leaving water temperature and our saturation temperature on the heat exchanger, and that difference makes our approach value, then why would the term approach be used? Why would we call it that in the first place? Well, I think it comes back to the purpose of what approach is trying to represent. So approach actually means uh, to come near, to come close to, right? That is what approach is. And what we want the refrigerant to do is to come near or to come close to the leaving water temperature as close as it can. And we want that to be done via the saturation temperature. And that's what all of this revolves around is saturation compared to leaving water. So we want these two to come near to one another. I think that was their core thought process behind why approach felt appropriate at the time. And it's just a matter of coming near, coming close to. And this tells us how efficient we are. So the closer that the, ref the saturation temperature is to the leaving water temperature, the more efficient of a heat exchange process we are having. Quite literally, a perfect approach would be zero if that was possible. That, I don't know of a machine that actually operates at that level. Our most efficient mach machines are at minimum half a degree to one degree of approach. We're talking just pure water. They can get up to 10 degrees of approach in some cases, depending on what style of evaporator we have. Obviously, the higher approach, we're less efficient. The, the refrigerant is having a harder time transferring heat between the water and the refrigerant itself. Doesn't really matter which direction it's going, whether you evaporator or condenser, there's a heart that's having a harder time moving that heat from one form or one medium to the other medium being the refrigerant or the water. We want to know how well we are performing that heat exchange and approach in our refrigerant coming near to the water temperature is just a way of expressing that so that we have something we can calculate based off of because we heavily use approach as a metric to decide if something is wrong with our heat exchange process. If we've got an oil logged evaporator, that's gonna increase our approach. If we have dirty condenser tubes, it's gonna increase our approach. If we have atmosphere in the condenser, it's gonna increase our approach. If we have plug tubes, that's gonna increase our approach. And the approach is having to increase because we have to achieve a higher difference for the same rate of exchange. That's how I would phrase that. Let's use a, a plugged tubes example. I think this will help bridge some gaps. So by plugged tubes, that means that we have some tubes in our heat exchanger that are, that are considered bad. And we've intentionally blocked them off where they can't flow water through them so that we don't risk the tube fully failing and, say, flooding our chiller. So they, they're plugged off. Well, that means that there's one less tube for our water to flow through and heat to exchange through. There's less surface area to swap heat from one medium to the other. But we still have the same number of BTUs we need to reject. The volume of BTUs we have to move doesn't change, even though we reduced the surface area we have to transfer between. The further things are apart from each other, the faster to equilibrium they can go. Things want to be in an equal state. It's called equilibrium in nature. That's why hot things go to cold. We want to be equalized. And in most cases, something really hot and something really cold will transfer heat really fast. Whereas something that's only a couple of degrees difference will transfer it much slower. So if we have less surface to transfer heat through because we have a plug tube, then we need to transfer heat at a higher rate on the surfaces that are available. We increase that approach to have a higher difference in temperature so that BTUs move at a higher rate of exchange. And that is why when we start to have heat exchange issues, approach increases. 
This is also true for systems with he heavy oil migration. That oil is preventing heat exchange on the tubes. So the tubes that can exchange heat have to exchange heat at a faster rate to still have the same level of BTUs move, the same volume of BTUs. Hence, our approach has to increase to increase the rate of exchange. But as to why we use the term approach, to me it is because we are just, we are coming near with refrigerant temperature to our water temperature. And it's a measure of how well we are moving that heat. 